So I get a lot of calls from people who are doing their initial research. They're trying to decide whether they're going to be hiring a moving company, maybe which moving company they want to hire. And something that a lot of people ask me is, are you licensed, insured, and bonded? And due to the lack of follow-up questions that people aren't asking about this, I would have to assume that most people actually don't understand what these things mean. And because of that, there's companies out there who don't have the proper credentials to be in business. And they know that the consumers don't know this. They're going to lie to them. They know they're not going to find out. And if something happens, there's really no recourse to go after them if there's an issue with the move. So I wanted to take some time to explain, you know, what exactly those things mean and how you can make sure that you're hiring a moving company who has the proper credentials to move you. So the first thing is bonded. So if a company tells you that they're bonded, that's probably a red flag because that's not something that's really relevant in the household moving industry. Basically what it is, is that let's say you're hiring a contractor to do a job that could take weeks or months on end and it's the bond is basically an insurance policy that guarantees that the job is gonna get done on time, on budget, and even that it's gonna get done in the first place because with the job taking months on end, there is no guarantee that the company is not gonna go out of business and leave the project incomplete. So in that case, if you're hiring a business to do that kind of work for you, it's it's good to make sure that you have something that you know is basically a little bit of additional protection in case something happens, you're gonna to wanna to have that. Now with a household move, where you're hiring a company to do a job that's gonna take a day, maybe two days, maybe even three days, it's not really relevant because you know they're not gonna go out of business before the job is complete. So it's something that movers aren't required to have in the state of Illinois. It's not really relevant to the business. And if somebody tells you they have that, that could very well be a red flag and you need to ask them some more questions to find out what that means. The next thing is insurance. So in the state of Illinois, moving companies are required to have insurance for general liability coverage, cargo insurance, and workers' compensation insurance. If somebody gets injured on your property, if your property, as in the household itself, gets damaged, you're covered, you don't have any liability, and the movers insurance company is gonna take care of those things and you don't have any liability. But one common misconception is the actual items that the movers are moving, it's not automatically covered to the full value of something if it's lost or damaged. And even though a moving company is insured, like I said, the items that they're moving are not actually insured. It's the moving company itself that's insured. Um, most moving companies do offer additional policies where if you have items, uh, you can tell us, you can tell, give us a certain value of the items that's written on the contract and that's the liability, you know, that's the maximum liability that we would be liable for in case anything happened. But make sure you ask movie companies about that. It's called valuation coverage because if you don't, if you don't pay extra for the valuation coverage and it's not written on the contract, then what's going to happen is if you have an insurance claim and, you know, you claim that something happened with something and the insurance company looks at the contract and says, oh, well, you only said your items are worth this much. Well, guess what the insurance company is going to do? They're going to give you a check based on the item, the value you said that the items are worth. So, you know, if, a comp if you ask a company, are you insured? It's not actually enough. You need to ask them, okay, what about my items? What kind of valuation policy coverage do you offer? Who are the options for that? How much is it going to cost? I have items worth this much. Tell me what it's going to be for that. But if you just ask a company if they're insured, yes, they're not lying by telling you they're insured if, if, they actually, if they actually are insured. But the actual specific questions of what's insured and how much is what you want to make sure that you're getting the proper information on. And the last thing is licensing. So in the state of Illinois and many other states, um, moving companies are regulated by some sort of government organization in Illinois, it's the Illinois Commerce Commission, and they're basically there to, to give out the licenses for the moving companies, which is not an easy process to do, but it helps keep out people that really shouldn't be in business because, you know, it's basically a, a barrier to entry, you know. Not anybody can do it, and not anybody should be doing this kind of business or any business in the first place because you're dealing with consumers and all their possessions, and you know, it's good that not just anybody can do it. But anyways, uh, moving companies are regulated by the Illinois Commerce Commission. You can go online again. I'm gonna include the link to that below, where you can look up any company, see see if they're in business, see what kind of licenses they have. And, you know, it's something that you can look up online. So, you know, if a moving company tells you that they're licensed, 
you know, ask them what they're licensed for. If they say that they're licensed to transport household goods between two points in Illinois, okay, they have a household goods license for, for moving items. But if, if they don't have that, they could be lying. And that's why you want to make sure that you're able to find out the information and you have that. So if you have any other questions or you need any more information, please give us a call. Falcon Moving at 630-780-0412. Again, that's 630-780-0412. Or you can send me an email to jason at falconmoving.com. Thanks and have a great day.